and Storm. We'll be showing a full photo tour of Storm in a little bit, but today I'm gonna to focus on Rogue. Now these are both 148 extended length all-wheel drive four transits, and Rogue is a beefy and beautiful build with a fully loaded interior. I'll start by going over all the exterior details before showing you the inside. Now, cabinetry and interior details are really where we shine, so you definitely don't wanna miss that part of the tour. Come on. Consider an upgraded suspension essential for an off-grid adventure vehicle. Rogue features a Ford factory key lift, which raises the vehicle in both the front and the rear and maintains the stock CV angles. It also has several band compass suspension upgrades, as well as BFG KO2 tires and Owl Talon black wheels. To protect the undercarriage of the vehicle, we have a limitless van skid plate and catalytic converter guard, as well as a van compass differential skid plate. In the front, we have a CA-tuned off-road front bumper, Baja Designs LP6 lights with the Ford Raptor grille and worn winch. Up top, we have the limitless van safari roof rack with more Baja Designs LP6 lights. On our way toward the rear of the vehicle, we have a 13-foot Fiamma F45 Eagle awning. This is a great place to gear up for the day and it provides excellent shade. The ARB onboard twin air compressor is great for inflating gear and cleaning it off. And then of course, roll up magnetic bug screens. Let's work our way towards the rear of the vehicle. For the exterior, we have flare space flares, an aluminist backpack with an added bump stop to protect the flares, and then a limitless fan, rear tire carrier and ladder combo. Over on the side, we have a limitless fan side ladder, and again, those flares for east-west sleeping. Into our garage space. This is what we call the brains of the beast because it houses our electrical system. This fan is powered by 400 amp hours of 24 volt Victron batteries. That's equivalent to 800 amp hours in a 12 volt system. It also has a 5,000 watt Victron multi-plus inverter and 200 watt solar up on the roof deck. 200 watts is on the low end for solar power, so this fan is also equipped with a nation's alternator, wake speed, and high idle kit for ultra fast charging to the batteries. With less solar power, there's more room on the roof deck for the Action Tracks, Starlink, Rome Adventure Rugged Box, and Nomadic AC. Here we have a second air compressor location, dimmable garage light, pull out garage tray with built-in L-trout for safely securing all your gear. That's the rear of the van, now let's go check out the inside. In van builds, it's really important to maximize usable space. So we built in a pop-out drawer in the slider step, as well as pop-out knife storage built into the kitchen galley. The galley also has pull-out counter space, in addition to this flip-down exterior table with an insert for a Snow Peak isobutane stove. The galley is with a two-burner induction cooktop and an extra-large sink. We love putting extra-large sinks in our van as it makes it so much easier to clean up after cooking. We have a pull-out hose, as well as a built-in soap dispenser. This van has bamboo cabinetry with black accents. We have this custom shelf with a little cubby and cup holders, and then the bamboo upper cabinets that have automatic lights that turn on and off. The Inhabit Design Works drawer inserts securely store tableware and cutlery, and the built-in pantry is the perfect spot to store provisions for your time on the road or off the grid. Driver's side, we have a microwave for easy meals on the go, and next to it, a shelf with built-in Qi wireless charging. The recessed coat hooks make use of the vertical space, and the upholstered bench provides additional storage. We also have a lagoon table with Shieldman leather swivel seats. The bedside cabinet has a built-in step with drawer storage underneath, and the slide-out in the countertop cabinet provides an ideal space to store small appliances. Our convertible lounge bed is a plush place to hang out. It raises in the front so you can look out the back of your vehicle. It also raises in the rear so you can hang out, looking forward, place to watch TV. And then it provides east-west sleep space with the flare space flares. Control panel houses all the control systems for the van. The Garmin Overlander controller also has an app so you can control your vehicle remotely from your phone. We have dimmable ceiling lights, as well as the Rixens hydronic system for heating the van, as well as Columbia heated floors. The unique wet bath design features Dutch doors to provide extra space while showering. The retractable curtain rod doubles as a towel holder or a place to hang wet gear. The toilet is a Lavio dry flush, which is our favorite van toilet. One of the most fun features of this van is its audio system. It has an upgraded OEM speaker system using Moral Carbon speakers and two kicker subwoofers. 
For when you're at a campsite and want to listen to music or watch a movie in surround sound, we installed the Bose Home Audio System. This is powered by the auxiliary battery system, completely separate from the car battery. The Bose Smart Soundbar is built into our overhead shelf with the accessory speakers mounted near the bed for an immersive sound experience. We had so much fun building Rogue and pouring our heart and soul into all the little details. This is our client's dream van and we can't wait to see the places it'll go. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and go ahead and check out our website, LimitlessFan.com, where you can find out more information.